So the Minecon livestream was yesterday and we were shown loads of new features for an upcoming Minecraft update for 1.16. So in today's video we're going to talk about all those new features. So what's going on guys? My name is Anthony and today I'm going to be bringing you guys 15 features that will be added in Minecraft 1.16. Now if you guys do enjoy today's video then be sure to give this video a like rating. Like this video if you guys are excited for the 1.16 update because I know I am. Now that all that is out of the way, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video about the new 1.16 update. I hope you guys enjoy it. Minecon Live 2019 took place yesterday on September 28th and we were revealed by the Minecraft developers of a new Minecraft update for 1.16 and the name of this update is just simply known as the Nether Update as you can see. Now because this update is called the Nether Update, it goes without saying that this update will solely be focused on overhauling the nether but you will see a few other features in this video that aren't to do with the nether that are also going to be added in 1.16. Now you know what the update is all about let's go ahead and talk about said features. So the first new feature that is going to be implemented into the nether is the addition of three new biomes and those biomes are as follows. So the first biome is called the soul sand valley. The second biome is called the netherwart forest red and the third biome is called the netherwart forest blue. First of all let's watch the video of the soul sand valley from minecon live and then we'll talk about it. Here you go. Okay guys, so as we saw from that video, the Soul Sand Valley will include some uncovered fossils as you can see, and the biome is made up of Soul Sand because, you know, it's called the Soul Sand Valley, and then you will see this really cool looking blue fog, and most importantly, you can see this new type of fire, which is known as Blue Fire, and I have to say it looks very, very cool. We'll talk about the fire later on, but yeah, this is now being added into the Nether. Next up, we have the Nether Wart Forest Red and the Nether Wart Forest Blue biomes. Now, these biomes are shown in the same video, so take a look. <sighs> So, as you guys saw, both of these biomes look absolutely amazing and bring a lot more life to the nether, but you will also notice that there are a lot of new blocks being added in these biomes as well. The nether warts forest red is described as being a dense forest with trees made of nether warts blocks as you can see, which kind of means you can get lost in the red version of the biome a lot easier as you've got these nether wart trees obstructing your path. The nether wart forest blue is a very of the red nether wart forest which means there is now a blue type of nether wart found in the game. On the ground of these new nether wart biomes you will find a new block that is known as nether grass. Now this nether grass block comes in two different colours which is red and blue and the red grass will spawn in the nether wart red biome as you can see and the blue grass will spawn in the nether wart forest blue biome. If you look closer at both of these biomes you will also notice Notice that there are new types of mushrooms being added in 1.16 as well but not much information has been given on these mushrooms but yeah you can see them right here. In the nether wart forest blue biome I can also see what looks like a new light source block which looks sort of similar to glowstone although I could be wrong but let me know what you guys think. Now let's talk about blue fire. How is it different to regular fire? Well it's sort of not really because to create blue fire all you have to do 
do is place regular fire on soul sand and it will automatically turn into blue fire as of 1.16. So yeah, they're changing soul sand with fire to automatically change into blue fire, which is pretty cool. The next feature that's going to be added in the Minecraft 1.16 update is the addition of a brand new mob that is going to spawn in the nether. And this new mob is known as the Piglin Beast at the moment. I say at the moment because according to Mojang, the name of this mob is set to change in the future. So the Piglin Beast mob looks like this and it is apparently going to spawn in the nether wart forest biome. The Piglin Beast is naturally hostile towards the player but I'm not going to say any more about this mob and let Mojang describe it to you because they couldn't have described it any better. Take a look. So, the to be named Piglin Beast is really aggressive, so it's quite scary, but it's also the food source in Nether actually. And so we really want the, the experience to be very unique in Nether, it shouldn't feel like another overworld. So when you get your food, you can't just have like a pretty little farm, instead you need to g find this scary, <laughs> aggressive Piglin Beast and get the food from there. So you heard it there guys, there is now an official food source in the Nether, and that food source is the Piglin Beast, so if you want some food in the Nether, Track down a Piglin Beast and kill it and you'll get some food. The Piglin Beast appears to drop raw beef at the moment but this is probably a placeholder and set to change in the future. The next new mob that is going to be added in the 1.16 nether update is a mob known as the Piglin. The Piglin is another mob found in the nether that is also naturally hostile towards the player but they will not be hostile towards the player if they are wearing gold armour which is very very interesting. Gold armor now has more of a use in Minecraft because you can wear it in the nether and sort of protect yourself in a way from these piglin mobs. However, it is worth noting that even if the player is wearing gold armor, if they open a chest that contains gold near a piglin mob, then the piglin will become aggro towards the player and try to kill them. The new piglin mob will spawn wielding gold swords or crossbows as you can see and they will also hunt down and attack wither skeletons and kill them as you can see as well. They will also hunt down and attack the new piglin beast mob as well as you can see so even the piglin beast isn't safe from these mobs. The new piglin mobs will also have their own form of trading system similar to villagers but their trading system is known as bartering and I'm going to let the minecon video describe what the trading is all about. Take a look. But there's actually a good reason why the player wants to uh, approach uh, the piglins because uh, we will introduce a new kind of trading with them that we uh, call bartering. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a little bit different to villager trading. It's <laughs> yeah, 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 because villager trading, you know, the villagers are like, her, her. Very friendly. The piglins do it in their own way. So it's like you can throw some gold at them and they will just like throw an, an item somewhere and then you can go pick it up. So it's more piglin style trading. So what I gathered from that clip is that piglins will trade with you in a very mean spirited way whereas villagers trade with you in a very nice way. So yeah, piglins will trade with you but they're not very nice about it. Just like Minecon 2018, during the live stream for Minecon 2019, viewers could vote for one of three biomes that will be updated. The biome with the highest vote will get new features such as terrain changes and new mobs. The three biomes viewers could vote for was Badlands, Swamp and Mountains. Badlands would feature tumbleweeds, vultures and a new type of cactus. Now Badlands was voted as the last biome to be updated in the first poll. The Swamp biome would feature treasure boats, frogs and mangrove trees. Now the swamp was voted as the second biome to be updated in the second poll. And finally, mountains would feature deeper snow, goats and improved terrain generation for mountains. Now mountains of course won the biome vote so we will now be seeing goats and new mountain generation in the 1.16 update which is very exciting. However, you'll be happy to know that the two other biomes featured in the vote will also be added into Minecraft but at a later date, so the Badlands and Swamp features 
will make their way into Minecraft, but yeah, at a later date, so that's really cool. Another new feature making its way into Minecraft 1.16 is a new block known as the Target Block. Now, the Target Block looks like this, as you can see, and it's basically a block that emits a redstone signal when shot at with an arrow. However, what makes this block unique is that the redstone signal is stronger depending on how close you shoot the arrow to the center of the target block. So if you shoot it in the center, then the redstone signal will be a lot stronger as you can see. So yeah, that's really cool. But anyways, that just about concludes today's video about all of the new features that will be added in the new 1.16 Nether update. Now, if you guys did enjoy today's video once again, then be sure to give this video a like rating. If you are new to the channel and want to see more 1.16 videos, then be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Real quick, guys, I just want to apologize for my voice in this video. I think I'm getting a little bit sick, so sorry if my voice sounded a little bit off in this video. I'm not feeling too great, but uh, hopefully it turned out okay. But yeah, I'm going to go now everybody because I've got some more videos to make about this new awesome update in Minecraft. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Hopefully my voice will survive to make some more videos. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye! The 1.16 nether update looks awesome! Oh my god, my voice hurts. Alright, see you everybody!